We just sang was originally by a guy named Randall Goodgame, and he makes music and a show for kids under the name Slugs and Bugs. He has these three great albums called Sing the Bible, where he sings Bible verses word for word with really catchy tunes and great production, and he's been a great inspiration for what I do with Joyful Law Music, so check that out. The Bible verse from the song we just sang is Philippians chapter 2, verse 3. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves. So picture this, it's snack time. There are two cookies left, one for you and one for your sister. One of them is bigger than the other one. Which one do you take? Philippians 2 says you should give the bigger one to your sister. Or say you're at the park and there's a zip line and you really want to use it so bad, but there's a lot of kids there. Do you push to the front of the line? Philippians 2 says you should wait your turn. Maybe even let a couple kids go in front of you. Or how about this? Do you ever say these words? That's not fair! Let's be honest. A lot of times when we say that, we're looking out for ourselves. We're trying to make sure we get what we think is fair for us. Philippians 2 says we should look out for the needs of other people before our own. So that's not fair is an okay thing to say, but we should say it more often to stick up for other people before ourselves. And speaking of people who have needs, our next song is called That's Why We Give. 
There's a verse about why the Bible says we should give. There's a verse about what it says we should give. And there's one about how it says we should give. There are a lot of people in the world who have a lot of different needs. And no doubt you do too. You have things you need. God created us to need each other. People work better together than alone. And the way God designed it to work best is if I give my energy to other people's needs and they give energy to my needs, we'll all be well taken care of. And yeah, sometimes it doesn't work that way. Lots of people won't do a good job of thinking of you first, even when you've looked out for them. And when that happens, you might be tempted to say, that's not fair! But remember, Jesus says in Matthew 6, that if we look out for the things that make him happy, like taking care of others, then he, God above, will take care of us. Would someone tell me, ooh, would someone tell me just a, would someone tell me, ooh, would someone tell me just a, would someone tell me, ooh, would someone tell me just a, would someone tell me just a, why do we care? Because it is more pleasant to give than receive, and because we're helping Jesus when we help those.